the game itself and I'm doing it from the ground up at about 30 minutes at a time so let's oh did that uh, let's, let's go. with that we're just gonna start a new game and you know see how this is aged Der Mann des Schattens, auf der Suche nach dem Habedrachen, ist noch nicht zurückgekommen. Der Herd der Finsternis grollt. Helba, Königin der Finsternis, stellt schließlich ein Heer auf. Alperon, König des Lichts, grüßt sie. Und sie treffen sich am Fuße des Regenbogens. Die verfluchte Welle muss gemeinsam bekämpft werden. Der See von Alba brodelt. Der große Baum des Lichts fällt. Alle Macht zerfällt zu Tropfen im Tempel von Arche Köln. Wesen ohne Schatten, ihre Welt zerfällt zu nichts. Der Mann des Schattens auf der Suche nach dem Abenddrachen kehrt niemals mehr zurück. Okay, user registration is done. Now for a name. All right, so what was interesting there, uh, first we got all that German gobbledygook. Yep, gobbledygook. That's what I said about another country's language. That was the epitaph of Twilight. Basically, that is what the, the, the game that we're playing, well, the world is based off of. If you didn't know, in this game, you are playing a an MMO called The World. Uh, we're about to go into a desktop after we name our character. I'm gonna be naming him. Yasuhiko's probably already there waiting for me. I'm gonna be naming I'd him. I'd better hurry. I'm gonna be naming him Kite because this guy is a character and it's this is basically an anime. I don't get why you'd name it something else. It's like in Final Fantasy X where you could name your character something else other than Titus, like fuckboy Mick no shirt. But that's stupid. His name is Titus. So yeah. Alright. So my username is just gonna be Nero.
basically staring at a computer. This is Ultimate OS. And it comes with the world, the mailbox, news articles, and a bunch of other games. This is all extra stuff for the game. So let's go to the game. I'll check my email first. I'll check my email. Oh, go, go fuck yourself. This tells you about the world outside. This is your web browser. And it just gives you like, current events. None of this matters necessarily to understanding the story itself. It's all just fluff, but it's also... None of this information necessarily matters, but it's all the stuff you can learn about, you know, the world. Uh, big thing, Pluto's Kiss, incident of December 2005. Uh, the two-year period following the incident commonly known as Twilight of the New Gods is now in a page of history. Uh, Pluto's Kiss was a computer virus that basically fucked up all of the world's technology. The only technology that survived was technology using Ultimate OS. Pluto's Kiss basically fucked everything, and if I'm correct, it was done by like a fourth grader. So yeah, that's awesome. You get more as you learn more about the world. Then you get into the game. It even has little things. CyberConnect LTD 2007 to 2010. See, as if it's a video game within there, because obviously this game was released in, again, earlier than 2007. But in the world of this game, it's later on. Now you have the board, system knowledge. This will tell you all about skills. If you are OCD, you will get rid of all the new stuff. This is. These are just regular players that are playing the game, but not really. Strong, everything. 
Anderson Gary Goodman. Yeah. This is basically telling you about uh, it, it's almost like a tutorial in the form of a, a board because there's no guide. You just go to Reddit and you ask a question, right? So, hey, the, the enemies, they're too strong. All right, well, you're, it's because you've been putting in keywords randomly into the chaos gate, so you're going to crazy strong levels and you don't know what you're doing. Go get a friend. Zide statue, aim for the hero of Zide. See, here's the thing, you kind of have to check these because there's also quests in here. I ain't gonna read all this shit. Zite statue at the bottom of the dungeon is, is searching for an adventure to give the title of the hero of Zite. The only way to get the title is to get to the Zite statue as fast as possible. Those who want the praise of the Zite statue select Chronicling as a part A of the Chaos Gate. First look at the area of the dungeon close to the entrance. Okay, so this is just a, an event that Balmung did. Alright, all this. go into the world. It's looking like I might have to play a few parts later. Like just just to get rid of shit, just to get some quests. Look, it's Bear. I mean, Orca. Hey, you made it. Bear is weak. Uh. Orca. Hey, it's me, Orca, the Blade Master. Whoa. You look so different from the real Yasuhiko. Nothing like the real you. Hey, in this game, I'm Orca. Regardless of what I am in reality, I'm pretty well known here. What? No, you look great. Anyway, take this. Member address is the flash mail address. You with flash mail, you can exchange messages with others in real time. It's mostly used by newbies to contact other players. Try it out by inviting me to join your party. First, press the triangle button to open the menu. Press the select button. In the menu, select party. Next, name. Since you just. Ah, got it. Join my party. It's kind of weird mailing each other when we're face to face. Oh, he even gave me a smiley face. All right. See? My name appears under your screen. That means I'm in your party. By the way, flash mail is only available when you're in a town. Okay. Oh, and you can't contact people. People do have a life, you know. We're not online 24-7. Yeah, in other cool. words, you can't always count on the same members to form a party. So, try to get as many member addresses as you can. You'll have more fun that way. Well, how you play is up to you. But since EXP and stuff isn't divided among party members, you really don't benefit if you go solo. Okay. Well, why don't we head off? There's nothing to worry about. I found a perfect place for newbies. You idiot. This is the Chaos Gate. Sort of transfer device. Now. In the world, each play zone is basically he's about to take us to a stupid fucking location. That's gonna select get new, new keyword. This is the keyword screen. You put the three selected keywords one by left of the entry plate is you can collect more now. Good for the now you oh, one more thing. You see the symbol that's. This symbol is Delta, so we're logged on to the the list. See the jewel next to the field? That indicates how the selected keyword affects the status. Yeah, basically it. Basically, every or every zone in here is randomly generated through putting together three keywords. Now that's a pretty cool system as far as video games go. What's interesting is that's the same way it works in the show. That's why, if you've seen the show, 
it's really hard to find Tsukasa because Tsukasa could literally be anywhere. Like, there's hundreds of keywords in each part, so you really don't know. For example, finding someone check the field hard, type. Especially See the jewel on the right? Between, uh, the servers. This... All this isn't that important. Basically, find the level that you go to. If you don't got spells that, you know, are good against the element, you probably shouldn't be there. Before we get going... Camera control. The I See, what's interesting is... This isn't really fourth wall breaking, him explaining the controls. Because again, you're role playing as some jerk holding a controller with a visor over his head, staring at a screen. Which, wouldn't you know it, I'm some jerk staring at a screen holding a controller in my head. Up. I, I know how to play. First, rotate the camera. Push either the L1 button or the R1 button to move the camera. Good. You can zoom the camera in or out by using the right analog stick. Try it. Yeah. Finally, you reset the camera by pushing the R... There. Okay. And this is the... F when you want... Dungeon's the deepest part, level, gonna, there's a god statue. Basically, the go As far as his little tutorial goes, we don't need it. Alright, see. Yellow it. Alright. When I get money, I'm just gonna buy a bunch of shit. By the way. So, this is a hack and flash game. the triangle button to open the menu and so okay then Choo when the target cursor appears that's it pretty easy huh you remember well you must be sick of me at this point you're right Orca. it's your turn to tell me what to do by you okay I'll teach you the command to get your members to heal okay then Press the next. Go. Well, it's good to be the boss, isn't it? If you use it well, you can bunch up on the enemy or give separate orders to each party member. When you add new members to the party, try various chat commands to see their effect. start exploring the dungeon. One thing you need to remember is that you can't gate out when you're in a dungeon. To gate out and return to the town, you have to... Treasure chest. How do those work? Oh, shit. This... Just use the fortune wire on it. Treasure chest is an extra step. See? Fortune wire costs basically. Yes. This is the speed strat of the game. Just buy speed charms, always have one. Because walking sucks. What the? Did you just see that? Yeah. Was that thing chasing her? Yeah, but... Something like that on this level? 
my uh, their their mounts were moving. Yeah, so that was Orin Skeeth. If you watch Sign, you would notice that that's what happens at the end of Sign. At the end of episode 26, Skeeth goes to chase Aura because uh, Morgana wants Aura dead. Or at the very least, to not complete. So that's how we know her. we're right after Sign. Better watch out. We're trapped in here. In the dungeon. There are Orkin, you're the only way. Huh? Watch out. Was the rumor true? Take this. Huh? Please take this. There's no time. Please. What's this? A great force. The power it holds can bring forth either salvation or destruction at the whim of the user. Your... It's coming.
What was wrong with Yasuhiko? Why was he upset? I wanted to ask him, but he wouldn't even pick up the phone. And then? The next day, I found out that Yasuhiko had been hospitalized. I rushed to the hospital, but they wouldn't even let me see him. But I guess it's better this way. I didn't want to see him all week, and he wouldn't want that either. But what the hell happened to him? I have a feeling that the key to it is somewhere in the world. <laughs> So yeah, a couple things happened there. First off, we met Skeeth. Skeeth is the first of the cursed wave. He represents, well, he is a program meant to collect data on the, the, the emotions that humans experience when they die. Skeeth is chasing Aura because Morgana doesn't want Aura to be complete. I guess that was that. So, they were just at the wrong place at the wrong time. They happened to cross by... Well, actually, no, no, no. Aura was looking for Orca. Orca is basically a legendary player. Like, him and Balmung are the strongest players in the game. And she was a, she was about to give that book, which is basically the bracelet, to Orca. Because she thinks he'll be able to basically destroy the cursed wave. The only way to destroy those bosses is with the bracelet. You have to rewrite their data. So now, Orca is hospitalized. He's comatose. Because he got data tricked. And you were rescued by Helba, the hacker. Uh, she's She plays a big role in the previous games. Or the, the on Dot uh, She saved you. She's, she, if anyone... If anyone could do it without the bracelet, it would be Helba. Like, for some reason, she just has god powers. Uh, she, that place that she sent you to was Net Slum. It was a basically her domain where all data is, like, all un deleted data is picked up and forms, like, uh, just basically it's her own personal server that no one can get to. So, yeah. Uh, that's gonna be about it for a bit. Uh, I'll go ahead and uh, get rid of all the the new mail and shit. You know, if there's anything important, uh, I'll start the recording from there. And yeah, uh, that was the first part of the dot hack infection. Um, yeah, I guess see you in the next one if you're still here. I don't blame anyone.